Assalamu alaikum. Today I'm going to show you how to make Kashmiri Ruangan Hajtamas or sun dried tomatoes and meat curry. Sun dried vegetables are an important produce in Kashmiri winter. These sun dried tomatoes perk up any gravy and they can they can be cooked with variety of veg and non veg too. So let's get started. For making this curry, I have taken around 200 grams of sun dried tomatoes. You have to check these tomatoes properly before cooking because sometimes they get infested. Then 2 teaspoons of Kashmiri chilli powder, 1 teaspoon of fennel seed powder, 2 teaspoons of salt or you can adjust according to your taste, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, 1 teaspoon of dry ginger powder, 2 black cardamoms, 1 cinnamon stick, 3 to 4 cloves and a few green cardamom. 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds and a mini were our Kashmiri masala tikki. I have already shown you the recipe. Then cooking oil around 3 tablespoons and meat I have taken around half a kg. So here you can see. I start with soaking this mini were or masala tikki in water and I'll keep it aside. Then in a pan I have heated up water and I have added these sun dried tomatoes. Make sure you check them properly and you wash them before cooking, before boiling. So here you can see, I'll cover it for around 10 minutes. And here you can see they have become soft. So I have not added a lot of water so I'll because I have washed them properly before boiling them. So I'll wait for this water to get absorbed because then it becomes easy to make a puree out of it to grind it. So they are ready, I'll keep them aside. You will grind them once they cool down. Now in a cooker I have heated up around one glass of water and I have added meat to it. And I will cook it up to one vessel. Then I'll cook it with tomatoes. And first once it starts to boil I'll remove the scum, scum or impurity that comes on the surface of meat here you can see. So I'll remove it. Once all the impurity is removed, then I'll be adding whole spices, cumin seeds, green cardamom, black cardamom, cloves and cinnamon and salt and then I'll cook it up to one vessel only. The tomatoes have cooled down so I will transfer them to a blender jar and will blend them to a puree. Here you can see. You can mash them with hand also that's also fine manually that's also fine. Now I'll blend them to a smooth paste. Now here the sun dried tomato puree is ready. Here you can see I'm not straining it you can strain it also I'm using it as whole. Now I have heated up around two tablespoons of oil and I have added ginger garlic paste that I have not shown earlier. We'll fry it and I'm not adding whole spices here because I have already added them to meat and then I'll be adding tomato puree to this. Give it a mix here I have kept medium heat then I'll be adding Kashmiri ver. here you can see it's mixed properly and then I'll cover it and let it cook for some time. Nuts, I will add remi remaining spices, fennel seed powder, coriander powder, dry ginger powder and chili powder. We will give it a good mix. Then cover it again till they are cooked properly till oil is visible on the surface. It will take around 15 to 20 minutes on low flame. After around 20 minutes on low flame here you can see tomatoes are cooked properly oil is visible on the surface so at this stage I'll turn off the flame and I'll go back to meat. 
meat I had cooked up to one whistle so I have heated up oil it's around one tablespoon of oil and I have added meat to it I have not cooked meat fully yet because I'll cook it with tomatoes that way it, the taste gets enhanced so here you can see I'll fry it I'll fry it on high heat and then I'll be adding cooked tomato and work paste so here you can see I'll mix it and then I'll be adding sun-dried tomato paste and work that we cooked and then I'll be ad adding around two cups of mutton stock in which I have cooked meat give it a mix and then I'll be adding mutton stock I have not added salt because I had already added salt in the mutton so I will check the salt and then adjust accordingly now I'll cover it and cook it up to 15 minutes because meat was also not tender so here you can see after 15 minutes I'll check we have to keep checking so that it doesn't get overcooked it doesn't become too soft again I'll keep it for around 5 minutes for cooking because meat was not soft yet that cooker too but I like it this way this way the taste gets enhanced After 5 minutes it's ready to be served so at this stage I'll be adding dry fenugreek leaves or kosuri methi this is an additional ingredient but it gives a very good flavor it enhances the flavor and I will cover it and keep it on high flame for 2 minutes then I'll turn off the flame here the mouth watering ruangan hajtamaz is ready it tastes scrumptious give this recipe a try and let me know in comments how it turns thank you for watching have a good day